and welcome to another video. Oh, yeah! I'm wearing a onesie in this video because uh, we're chilling, you know, whatever. It actually has a hoodie with ears on it. It's pretty slick. Oh, snap. <laughs> But anyway, this video was actually one of the ones that I filmed two years ago in October and this is actually my Halloween costume from 2015 so it's been a hot minute since then and my skill set has got a lot better since then so when I'm watching this video I feel like I could do a whole lot better now with like highlights and shading and making it look more realistic but you know that was two years ago so what are you gonna do? Um, <laughs> but I still felt like I should upload it and so that is what I am doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and here is the video. Hi everyone, so we're gonna start off with our curling wands. I have the Numi Lustrum curling wands. I'm using the wand that is slimmer at the tip and turning it on, putting on my heat protecting glove, you know, and just sectioning my hair so that I'm only doing the bottom half and I'm clipping it up. Then I'm just gonna begin curling my hair. I usually like to curl away from my face and then towards my face and away from my face and towards my face to make the curls not stick together. Do you guys notice how much shorter my hair gets whenever I curl it? Look at this. Like what? Once my hair is finished being curled, I am going to take two elastic bands and stretch them out, you know. And then I'm just gonna put my hair in low pigtails. Then I'm just gonna shake it out to make it looser and take some ribbon, just any random ribbon that match your costume, cut it in half and tie it like little bows over the elastic band so it looks more cutesy as if I was actually a doll. Then after that I'm just gonna take some white face paint by Graftobian and I'm taking this powder brush that I got from Claire's like a really long time ago even though it would have been a better idea to use like those flat foundation brushes or you can just take a regular paint brush. I'm just gonna paint my entire face. I tried to make it a lot waterier so it wouldn't be so stark white. You could use like a, just a lighter foundation than your face shade, but by painting my face white made it more of like a porcelain-y doll. And then I'm just gonna take a paper towel. I don't- I came up with this method. I don't know if it's a good method or not. Probably not. Since it was so watery, I just took a paper towel and like patted my face. I just continued to like paint some more pat it off with a paper towel some more until I got the look that I wanted to achieve. Then I'm also going to just paint my neck. I'm using the same palette I used in the Batman makeup tutorial. As I said in the last video, it's not that great. It was $6 from Rue 21. I'm taking the pink shade, putting it all over my lids, and I'm just putting that blue shade in my outer V slash crease. And then I'm just taking the shader brush and getting some of this cream color and blending out the top. I, this is also before I had a blending brush. Then I'm taking this darker brown color and putting it in my crease, kind of just like over the blue. Then I'm just gonna line my waterline with a white eyeliner pencil. And also I just wanna add that it looks very scary right here. Like what is going on? Then I just took this flat eyeshadow concealer-ish brush and took some more white face paint, more like opaque, less water, you know and put it underneath my eyes, like as if my eyes were bigger. Then I'm just taking a black eyeliner pencil. It would probably be a better idea to do this with black body paint so that it doesn't drag the underneath of your eyes. Then I just put eyeliner on my upper lash line to make it blend with my new lower lash line and tried to make them connect on my inner corner and my outer corner. Then I just did the exact same thing on the other eye. Now I'm just taking this light brown shade from that same palette and I decided to contour my nose. I would not suggest doing this. I don't know. I guess it made my nose maybe look a tiny bit smaller so that it looked more like a doll, but I never contour my nose, so I kind of did a really bad job, but it's fine. Then I took my Mayron Paradise paint palette and took the pink shade and painted on some rosy cheeks, aka circles, on my cheeks and just continued to perfect the circles. Then I took this brown eyeliner slash eyebrow pencil and just put like little circle freckles in the cheeks. 
Then I just painted my lips white so it would match the rest of my new porcelain-y skin. And took the darker pink shade and just painted a heart on my lips. Then I took my black face paint by Graftobian and started to make the cracks. It's kind of just like make random little strokes and just roll with it. Do it however you like. It does, it's not supposed to be perfect. I could have made this look a lot better if I would have put highlights on top of these cracks after it was over to make it look like it was actually sunken in. Like add some shadows, add some highlights. It would have been a lot better. But this was two years ago. So my skill set at that point in time and what I was thinking is how it happened. Then I just painted some more of the cracky brokenness on my neck. And I did a crack on my cheek as well, and this is what it looks like so far. Then I took these very big eyelashes and some duo eyelash glue and glued them on my new lower lash line. And it was a little bit difficult because I didn't wait for the glue to get tacky and stuff before I put it on. And then I just finished gluing the other eyelashes that I have on, and this is the finished look. And also, the eyeshadow looks actually horrendous, but... It's okay, you don't really see it anyway because those big, gigantic eyelashes. Alright, it's the end of the video and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified of any new videos. And don't forget to comment down below any other video ideas you have because I would love to hear it. If you guys are not already following me on Instagram, you should totally do that. Or you should also follow me on Twitter because that's pretty legit too. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.